Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you HyperX Quadcast not working. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering what is a fix here that you could do to probably fix your Quadcast uh, or HyperX Quadcast here. Well, in this case, you could actually edit your power settings here. Sometimes the power that is being supplied on your actual device might not be that enough. So you need to change a few things. So in this case, on your Windows, you want to go to the bottom left here. And you want to search for the following, which is going to be power options. Now in here, you want to look for the option uh, that looks like or it says something uh, similar to this one. So it says edit power plan. So in this case, you want to go ahead and click on it. Also make sure that it's under control panel here, but once you click on it, this is what it's going to look like. Now what we need to do is we need to first go back to power options. Now what I'm going to tell you here is I want to uh, I want you to change a few things, again like what we mentioned before. So you want to actually change the power plan settings here for all the plans that you have uh, right now. So either balance or power receiver, but more importantly, you need to change the currently selected power plan. Let's go ahead and click on change plan settings. Now from here, you want to go ahead and click on change advanced power settings. And from here, you should get a pop-up that looks like or similar to this one. So what you need to do is you need to open up USB settings. You want to go ahead and open up USB selective, selective suspended settings. And in this case, the settings should be set to enable. Now what you need to do is you want to enable this one. But once you've enabled it, click on apply and click on OK to save your changes. Now once you've done all those steps, what we need to do next is you just need to restart your PC, go ahead and click on your power here, and basically click on restart. Now once you restart your PC, that should actually fix the actual issue here for your quadcast. But the thing here, if this doesn't work, it means that you have a faulty device. So in this case, you might want to uh, revisit customer care if they have one, and basically request a, uh, in this case, a refund or a replacement for your uh, HyperX Quadcast here and hopefully you'll get a more or a better um, uh, version or a better uh, device or replacement device for your uh, workspace or your PC. In this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video or hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.